Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the big Timber! Timber! Lodge! <laughs> Coming back at you today with another awesome video. And yes, if you're wondering, I am that man from your YouTube shorts feed <laughs> about the 945 Industries Tactical Fanny Pack that you're probably used to hearing. Where are you going that you need your gun? <laughs> Somewhere in Colorado Springs, am I right? So anyways, I decided it's time to do a long format video review about the large size 945 Industries Tactical Fanny Pack. So let's jump right into this. This is the new 945 Industries large size tactical fanny pack. Well, calling it a tactical fanny pack is a little bit of a stretch because now it's become more of the dedicated cross body bag holster due to the cross body strap, as well as the around the waist strap to ensure it does not move from where you place it. Like its smaller counterpart, it has the front pouch zipper, as well as an extra large pouch that is zippered on the rear of the bag against your body. Now, this front pouch is a lot larger and can accommodate a full size cell phone. Now, one of the things that you might notice that's different about this large size pouch compared to the smaller version is there is no Velcro strap across the front. Too many people complain to 945 Industries saying that the Velcro front on the smaller pack made the pouch look too tactical and alerted those around them that they had a firearm. 945 Industries listened and in addition to removing the Velcro, this pack is currently only available in black. On the inside of the large size 945 Industries pack, it has the traditional two quick deployment pull tabs, as well as an internal Velcro strip for a custom Kydex holster made by 945 Industries. Because it is a larger pack, this can accommodate a larger pistol, such as this SIG X Macro Tac Ops with a threaded barrel Streamlight TLR7 flashlight, and a red dot optic. The zippers are high quality YKK zippers from Japan, and the external fabric is a water resistant Cordura. So now with the larger size 945 Industries Tactical Fanny Pack, you're going to be able to have a much broader choice of firearms that you can carry across your waist or across your chest. And I really like that. I mean, I love the compactness of the smaller bag and the fact that I can easily carry a Glock 43X as my EDC with it. However, I am limited because I can't have a red dot optic or a larger pistol with the smaller bag. Now, I can not only have a red dot optic, but also a larger pistol, a flashlight, and a threaded barrel which is pretty cool. Gives you a lot more options. I would say this is a much better option if you wanna carry a larger caliber pistol and you're gonna go trudging through the woods and you might run into some dangerous predators such as mountain lions or bears, or who knows, even wolves. <laughs> Depends on what state you live in. But let's talk about some of the other cool features that I like about this bag. I like the fact that because it's larger, this front zippered pouch allows me now to put a modern size cell phone in it so I don't have to carry it in my pocket. In addition to the much larger extra large size pouch on the rear, I can now put my wallet, a map, passport, cash, my conceal and carry license, whatever I want back there and hold my cell phone up front because let's say I want to do something active outdoors where I'm going for a jog or I'm going for a hike and I just want everything to be located in one location, this makes that very possible. In addition to the cross waist strap that's going to go around your waist, this really does help keep this pouch secure against your body. That makes it a much more viable option for outdoor activities that if you're going to be doing something more strenuous than just walking around with let's say the smaller version. Now, there are a couple of things that I would like to see addressed by 945 Industries. So the first complaint is really just a small one and realistically, it's not a complaint, but just more of a request. If 945 Industries is trying to make this pack as concealable and discreet as possible by removing the Velcro and also only releasing it in the color black, then why not make the 945 Industries logo 
removable. It is currently sewed on. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it wouldn't be bad to be able to remove this and maybe put something else in its place. Next up is an actual complaint or request from my wife that carries her smaller compact 945 Industries with her SIG P365XL Rose, and that is there's no rubber on the inside of the across the body strap that goes over your shoulder. She would like to see the rubber there for two reasons. One, it would make it more comfortable so that the fabric wasn't digging into your neck and it would also help keep it in place so the pouch didn't slide around your chest. Now, I do wanna also point out something that I have experienced in the past half year of carrying a 945 Industries Tactical Pack, which is, these YKK zippers are fantastic, and they did a great job by adding this paracord. But I have found there's been some times where I'm doing tactical drills where the zipper paracord has actually interfered with me being able to pull down the tab. Now, this is a very easy fix. You can just remove the paracord from these two zippers that are going to be next to the quick deployment tab. Highly recommend doing that for your bag if you want to wear it in a quick deployment state where you're going to be pulling down that tab. Overall, I'm very happy with this bag. Now, I did mention that it's more of a dedicated crossbody bag because of the around the waist strap, but it is removable. Have a look. All right, so this is the back of the pack, and these are the two points where the waist strap attaches. Now, it's fairly easy to remove. All you have to do is expose the metal carabiner clip and then push down with the hook side while pushing backwards with the metal carabiner clip and it comes off. So, as you can tell, if you remove this around the waist strap, and it's a solid black now fanny pack with no tactical Velcro, and you wore it around your waist, nobody's gonna be able to tell that you're carrying a tactical fanny pack holster. It just looks like a regular fanny pack. Now, if you do want to enjoy the benefits of wearing it cross body with an easy draw, then some people might say, ah, oh, that's a crossbody tactical holster. But I've yet to run into anybody that's actually pointed that out on my chest or even seem to have recognized what it is when I'm out and about on my daily life. Now, one of the things that I do want to address is these are not cheap. And a lot of people say, oh, get yourself just a Kydex holster for inside the waistband. It's roughly the same price or less money. Well. Yes, these aren't cheap, but they're made with quality materials. As you saw inside, it says designed in the United States of America. Now, it's not fully made in the USA. They source the Cordura from overseas. The zippers, the YKK zippers, do come from Japan, but they assemble everything and make the Kydex holsters here in the United States. So it's about as close as you can get to being made in America without all the parts being made in America. But I digress. I want you to know, I think this is a fantastic option as not only a everyday conceal and carry holster, but also for an outdoor adventure holster, a way to carry your cell phone, wallet, cash, conceal and carry license, whatever it may be. Do I think it's a huge improvement over the smaller one? Nah, not really, because they only really got rid of the Velcro on the front, added a waist strap, and just made the pouch larger. But what I do see as a huge improvement is the fact that I now have the ability to carry much larger handguns with more options. Plus, I will say that the around the waist strap does make this more comfortable for all day carry. I find that the bag is less likely to start sliding underneath my arm. And I do like the fact that I can take the waist strap off if I want to wear it around my midsection like a traditional fanny pack. So I hope this helps you make a decision on whether or not you want to give a look at the 945 Industries large size tactical fanny pack or cross body bag. And make sure to use... Until next time, everybody. Peace.